The Euphoria season finale was a lot, like a lot a lot. We may be numb from Ash dying, but certainly not as numb as Cassie post Maddie beating her ass. Interestingly enough, for the first time ever, Rue was somehow the least numb out of all of us. And with a season three renewal, Zendaya opened up about her hopes for Rue in the upcoming season. Stay tuned as we unpack this and more. First up, Zendaya on season three Rue. Rue is certainly someone who's been through a lot compared to your average TV show teenager protagonist. Poor girl lost her father to cancer and shortly after struggled with addiction, and it's been a downward spiral for her since then. In the bone-chilling season one finale, we see Rue relapse. We still dislike Jules for leaving her at the train station because it led to all this. Rue, your anger towards her in episode six is justified TBH. Via the iconic All For Us, complete with insane composition from Labyrinth, a marching band, and a choir. It's safe to say that she was far from sober, and in the season two premiere, it wasn't any better. Girl was so far gone, she was giggling and hardly bothered by what went down at creepy Lori's house. But around halfway through the season's airing, HBO announced that the drama had been renewed for a third season, and with it came heartfelt words from Z, Zendaya, who played Rue on the show, shared in an interview with E.T., not the alien, that she had to go to very dark places with her character this season, and she wasn't kidding. Rue's intervention in episode 6 had us all clutching to our chests, not sure if we wanted to be mad at her for the way she was acting or give her a big hug. She continued that it was so intense that it got to the point where she thought, we can't leave her here. This can't be the end of her story. There has to be some hope at the end of this something beautiful at the end of all this pain. And hope there was. The closing scene of the season two finale showed Rue walking out of Lexi's less than iconic and Tony award-worthy play, looking sober as ever as her own character in a voiceover heartily shares that she had stayed clean for the rest of the school year. Honestly, hearing that made our hearts swell and eyes tear up because she's been through rock bottom after rock bottom and seeing her redemption was just so rewarding. We're so proud of you, Rue. Zendaya also shared that she hopes that moving forward, we see Rue continue her journey of sobriety and just be happier. So do we, Zendaya. So do we. Okay, so before we get into exciting info regarding season three and what the cast has in store, we need to talk about the finale. Next, the season two finale. A recap and questions we need answered. Like, we mentioned at the very start of the video, a lot went down in the second season finale of Euphoria, and it was kind of really overwhelming. So before we get into the burning questions we have, let's have a recap, shall we? The episode picks up where the previous one left off. Faye, Fez, Custer, and Ash are all in Fez's house, and for a second, it really looks like it was about to end badly. But then, Faye, ah, oh, Faye, we are so sorry for thinking you were useless, but you redeemed yourself and had us all cheering for you when you dropped your glass and warned Fez something was up. Shortly after this, Ash, being Ash, went ahead and killed Custer. Seriously, this kid is a little too violent for his own good. This, of course, made the situation about 10 times more intense and worse. And just as we're about to lose it because of what could happen, we're cut to flashback scenes of Fez and Lexi's conversations. Fexi stands, we won. After we have our fair shares of Oz, from Fexi, we go straight to Cassie, looking less than pleasant and straight out of The Shining, breathing on the glass door like a madman and earning her weird looks from multiple people, including us. And as you already know, it goes down. Cassie gets on stage and is a little more than angry, which we kinda get. Yes, it's understandable, but girl, you getting on stage pretty much confirmed to everyone that Hallie was indeed based off her. And well, things escalate and she goes off on Lexi and even tries to attack the girl who was playing Hallie. This, of course, turns out to be Maddie's last straw, and she has enough and runs on stage, and then it happens. 
It finally happens. We finally get to see Maddie hand Cassie her own ass. But maybe it wasn't the best place to do so because the entire school was watching. And like them, we couldn't stop OMGing and laughing. Cassie then runs away and Maddie chases her. And right as we see Maddie smack Cassie's head into a wall with an unpleasant sound, we're cut to a sequence that had us all pulling our hair out because it was five whole minutes of Elliot singing a song. And as nice as it was, the timing was just so awful because we were losing our minds over what could happen, but we're stuck with a song. Anyway, after it ends, we see that Rue has forgiven Elliot, which we're not really a big fan of. Later, we see that Fez is trying to take the blame to protect Ash. Ash doesn't listen, and it ends with him dying. Rest in peace, buddy. And Fez getting shot and taken away by the cops. Whilst this is happening, a scary-looking Nate is driving somewhere and loading a gun. And it turns out he went to confront his father. This, of course, doesn't end well for him. And Cal is arrested for his, um, inappropriate recording endeavors. We are then finally taken back to the play, where it ends with Rue and Lexi sharing a heart-to-heart -heart that had both the audience and us show a tear or two. Then we finally see the aftermath of the Super Bowl, sorry, Maddie versus Cassie. To no one's surprise, Maddie wins, as she should have. And the episode closes with Jules unsuccessfully trying to converse with Rue and her walking out and confessing she remained clean for the rest of the year. Phew, that was a lot. Now, here are some questions we need answered ASAP and hope to see answered in season three. What happened to Lori? Is she not after Rue anymore? Is Rue gonna stay clean? What's gonna happen with Cassie and Nate? And what's gonna happen to our boy Fesco? We need answers, Sam Levinson. Up next, Zendaya and Dominic's Euphoria songs. With the season finale of Euphoria airing, Zendaya once again reminded us that she's nothing short of an all-arounder when she delivered her heart-touching vocals for the song in the finale's closing scene. The song titled I'm Tired was written by both Zendaya and Labyrinth and composed posed by him too. It made us feel all the feels, and we couldn't help the overwhelming emotions that took us over. However, this song was not the only one Z had worked on. In the finale, we see Elliot sing Elliot's song to Zendaya. And as it turns out, Zendaya had written this one too. She's truly incredible. The song, which initially didn't receive the greatest response, you can't blame us, the timing was awful. Many, including us, did come to like it and praise it. As a result, Dominic Fike, who plays Elliot, in a hilarious Instagram caption, shared that they had made the song shorter now and that a version of the song with Zendaya is set to be released on Friday, March 4th. And though the song is not out as of now, we already know it's going to be amazing and can't wait to hear it. Now, what we know about season three and think could happen. Unfortunately, there is not much we know about the upcoming season, aside from the fact that it is probably going to be airing in 2020 a whole two years from now. Yes, we're upset too, but the cast has been very busy with some upcoming projects, which we will be talking about soon, so it can't be helped. What we do know, though, is that most of the cast will probably be returning with confirmations from Dominic Fike and Eric Dane. We don't know much about the plot, but we can assume and hope that we'll be focused on Fezco and Cal, who Eric Dane hinted might have a redemption arc. Maybe Cat will try to win Ethan back too. But what we're hoping to see most is an update on Lori and if she will pursue Rue. Many fans also speculate that there might be a time jump, but we'll probably have to wait till season three comes out to know. 2024, get here already. Next, let's talk about the cast's upcoming projects. Euphoria skyrocketed a lot of the cast's careers, and that's to no one's surprise, because the show is officially HBO's second most watched show ever, just behind Game of Thrones. Since the airing of the show, many of the actors have been signed on to some major projects. Here are a few of them. Zendaya, Dune 2, and Challengers. Barbie Ferreira, Nope, Eric Dane and Sydney Sweeney, National Anthem, Hunter Schaefer, Cuckoo, Jacob Elordi, Deep Water, and He Went That Way, Storm Reed, One Way, and Searching Two, Angus Cloud, Your Lucky Day, Javon Walton, Samaritan, and The Umbrella Academy Season 3. Alexa Demi, Barbie Ferreira, and Sydney Sweeney have all also auditioned to play Madonna in her upcoming biopic. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. See you next time. Bye!